I really have no choice. Um, I have to get all this off my mind before, you know, I go Looney Tunes. What Joe and Mike B. did last night was insulting beyond simple words. Since this whole so-called war happened on Labor Day, Joe has been preaching anti-hate and anti-trolls, that he just wants to talk about Doctor Who without any other drama. Joe, you have spent hundreds of hours writing books with a theme of good over evil and conquering those that try to take all the happiness and love away from you. Well, all I can say is it's time for you to practice what you preach because what you two did in your Whovians Two War podcast was not only insulting, but downright disgusting. And I am appalled that you even considered inviting me into your podcast in the first place. Yeah, uh, I, I just couldn't believe this when, you know, luckily I got my new iPad and I chose when I saw the invite to play on my iPad instead of join you guys because you knew what you were going to talk about and you wanted me to join? Really? But honestly, who do you guys think you are? What gives you the right to judge others' lives? How would you like it if I went on here for the whole world to like listen and made accusations based upon events that you have told me in confidence? You would feel violated and hurt. Nothing is worse, I mean absolutely nothing, than seeing the people that you care about, my best friends, fighting against each other. All because of some stupid little misunderstanding that happened over a week ago. But really, last night, both of you crossed that line that I have been trying so hard to ignore and not even pay attention to. Alright. You had the audacity to go on there and totally rip apart Michael Shannon. Calling him all these names and stuff like that. You know, really... That, that's what school kids would do. That's what school kids would do to other kids on the playgrounds. Making them cry and stuff like that. You know, making them go to the nurse or making them go to the teacher or their parents and crying because, you know, Johnny ended up uh, picking on me or whatever. You know, that's what you guys did. You guys bullied. And instead, you were like all preaching that you were all holier than thou and you wanted all this to stop. But honestly, you guys didn't listen to yourselves at all. You have yourselves on such a high pedestal and you have your heads so far up your asses that you weren't listening that you guys were becoming what you were preaching against. Michael Shannon and his wife Jen made the hard decision to enroll their children in an alternative public school program. This means that Michael is extremely active, I mean extremely active in his kids learning and is in constant communication with their teachers. In my book, Michael deserves everyone's respect. Parents and singles alike. Michael, you got my complete respect for what you're doing. Imagine if everyone in the whole world did that and really sacrificed their lives to make their children's learning, you know, a better place. Can you imagine how awesome our children would be? And for your information, as a result of the Shannon sacrifices, their children are being very successful and they learn every day. So, um, can you guys please explain to me why that would make somebody a loser? So, okay, using basic common knowledge or common logic, if you will, I'm going to be Spock for a second. You stated, both of you, basically stated this in one way or another that people who stay at home all day and do not work are losers so um does that mean that stay at home moms are losers i challenge both of you to explain to me the difference between a stay at home mom and a stay at home dad besides gender you know and the more i started thinking about it could it be that you both are in fact jealous that Michael is in a situation that allows him to be so involved with his children? So how did that feel? Did that hurt your feelings? Now you have an idea how Michael felt. 
and how you how pissed off I was when I heard you guys talking like that. And okay, what makes you both so fucking perfect and successful that you have never ever ever asked for a favor from any family or a friend? What makes you so, you know, holier than thou? Hey, Mike, Mike B, you went on a little rampage about this a little bit. If you're so freaking perfect, why are you spending all your time on the internet talking to, like, Joe and us, huh? Should you be, like, you know, smoozing it up with, uh, you know, Donald Trump or something that you're so perfect, huh? Loaning money or your time is what friends do. Yeah, I, that... And, and you have no right to judge uh, who gives what to whom and for what re reason. You have no right whatsoever to judge anybody. You guys don't like to be judged. You, you guys don't like to hear negativity towards you. What gives you a right to do it back? The only way you're doing the only reason why you did that last night is for revenge and just to preach the hate that you have been preaching again. Plain and simple. And the only other thing I can think of that you guys went on and on and on about um, Michael getting something from somebody else was, could it be that you guys are in fact jealous that no one has ever, ever given you guys anything because they all know what complete and total assholes you both can be? So tell me, how did that feel? It hurt, didn't it? But it hurt me listening to it. And I hope it hurt you too right now because now you have an idea of how my heart sank listening to you two last night. Okay, then, you know, you guys, like, went on for, like, a good, like, 15 minutes bashing Michael Shannon. Then, if that wasn't bad enough, you guys decided to ma bash uh, Jimmy Porto. But you actually had the nerve to imply that he wasn't religious and said all this other crap, knowing full well that he's probably the most religious person we've ever, ever known in our lives. What kind of people are you to bring a person's religion into this? You know better than the Catholics person versus the Muslims. You know, really? You know, bringing religion into this whole topic? Really? And, you know, it makes me wonder, what do you guys really think of me? You guys probably think that I'm like a bitch or I'm a devil worshiper because I'm a Wiccan. Yeah, I bet you guys even think that I worship the devil. I don't. I try to live my life, you know, trying to treat others like I want to be treated, and I respect all forms of life. But sometimes I get to a point where I get so aggravated and frustrated that I have to speak my mind and say things that I normally wouldn't be saying. You know, I honestly believe in karma. I really do. Um, karma doesn't happen at a time that we would all like it to happen. But it does happen when you least expect it. And I'm betting that someday, because all this negativity that you guys have caused upon me and my friends yesterday in your stupid little podcast, seeking revenge against other people because you think you guys are holier than thou, one of these days karma is going to raise her head and she's going to bite off whatever manhood you guys have left on your body. And you know what? I really don't think it's that much. You know, Karma's going to be lucky if she gets a little nibble in anyway. How does that feel? Don't like it, do you? Okay. And then you guys kept going and going. Implying that people were drunks. Implying that people were um, beating up on their wives. You went on and on and on and on. I ended up getting a headache listening to you guys. I couldn't believe I listened to the end because I was really hoping, you know, you were going to say something that was really meaningful. Um, those were pretty strong allegations. And Joe, you have been, like, making, you know, like, threats kind of, implying that you were going to, like, bring lawsuits against Sammy Carter because he read your book online and his friends bashed him. I'm not condoning that. I'm not. What Sammy Carter did was wrong. It was. He had no right to review your book without your permission. And honestly, I really don't think they really knew what they were talking about. I just 
think that they were so full of anger and they wanted to get you. They wanted to seek revenge. Because that's all this has become. Is who can get more revenge over the other. And this is never going to stop. But, you know, legal problems can work both ways. You know, what you guys said about people being drunks and beating their wives, that's a form of slander. So don't be surprised if someday somebody decides to sue you guys. You know, so... I mean, I can't tell you how hard this has been, you know, for me to do this. The reason why I'm not showing my face is because, you know, I didn't want you to see how, like, ugly I look today. Uh, I hardly got any sleep. I've been fighting a headache all day. You know, I have, like, this pit in my chest because I know nothing's going to be like it was. And that is so sad. We were all such good friends. Um, you know... And then, you know, Joe, you had that thing about people being on the computer all day are losers. <laughs> Excuse me? You're on the computer just as much as everybody else. After your video last night, I was trying to get ready to go to bed. I decided to look at my little iPad one more time, and it was like one link after another you were sharing. Link after link after link after link, and like little like blurbs here and there. You're... Look at how many videos you did just on one episode of Doctor Who. You did, what, three or four episodes just on a uh, robot of Sherwood? I get why you did it, because you wanted a lot of different people in there so everybody can have a chance to, like, talk. But really, you have the nerve to, like, diss on people who spend a lot of time on the Internet? You spend just as much time on the Internet, if not more. You even spend time on the Internet when you're at work. How the hell do you pull that off? so-called TV war that currently we have um, for TV and um, games um, to get people. Um, I just want to let people know that I don't want to put things so much where I have to stop doing what I enjoy doing. So um, some of you may be happy to know I'm still on the air. I'm not taking any breaks. Um, I am here to stay. That being said, um, let me also stress video that is hateful, slanderous, and horrible. Because that's what you guys do. That's what Joe and I do. Um, so when I say we're trying to tell you this is wrong and it's right to wrong and all that stuff is wrong, but yeah, they end up being such a hateful, slanderous video. about this person and that person and then I get off and I'm like I stop for a sec so they can edit um, my pictures out of the video um, now since that time since recording um, you know this podcast um, that you heard previously um, they were attacked for being hateful yeah they were um, and that's wrong too um, it's never going to end both sides are wrong
can go into their settings and set everything to private. Um, they can move everything off of Google instead of it just streaming live. They can go old school and go to places like Zoom and go to Skype where they are in control of knocking people off. There's no like chats or people to get involved in. And then they become creative and they create and stuff. Um, you know, there's things that individuals can do to reduce, you know, interference from people they don't know. Um, and there's a lot. Now, I just hope I'm giving you a clean slate and everybody's, you know, all right. Um, and there are friendships that will never, um, be rekindled. Um, if you have friendships that have never been there for you, you have to get over that. But, um, just like that friend I mentioned, I accept the call of the spirit. All good things come to those who mourn and those who mourn are comforted. You know, but we could all move on and go and go our separate ways. Hopefully we could still be, um, close together. Um, my twin, I love you and you're, you're my best friend. Um, and that's one thing that I'll always stand ready for, you know, Leon, his twin, Jimmy, um, we've had love from the stage, <laughs> you know, and just being the two, you know, I, I hope we can all move on and understand that, um, a lot of us are never going to be in a show together again, but hopefully we can move on and create our own, um, but I will hold my peace, um, and that's all that I can really do, hopefully my message, um, could get through to some of you, that, you know, you cannot preach or advocate for anti-bullying when you're being the bully. And with that, we will have concluded this video. And, um, you know, that's about it. Um, we're moving on. And today we ended up having a very interesting episode of Back to Food that I'm sure we're all going to be debating about. Um, I'm sure it's going to be like some 50-50 split. Because some people uh, loved it and some people hated it. Uh, I'm going to have to watch it a couple of times to really have a good thing. Uh, this episode, as many of you know, is called Blessings. And I'm hoping to do some things that have theme on it. But, um, you know, now we can start doing positive things. Um, you know, and go from there. So, uh, that's about it. Have a great night, everybody.